Hello and welcome to Stories for Inspiration. Let's take a look at these beautiful images and we will see where this story takes us today. A beautiful child front and center in this image. Beautiful flowers in their hair. It's almost as if they're preparing for an occasion, for a special event. They're clothed in white, so a sense of detoxification, purity, and innocence. These hands are open wide to receive. They are in a gesture that is expectant and positive and open. They are going to love what is returned to them. They are giving, but they know that they will receive. And this reception, when it comes back to them, will be a miracle at their door. We have the bees that are actually taking flight and lifting up from the flower they're holding in their hands and going out to do their thing, to uh, fly around, to be busy, to uh, pollinate flowers, plants. They're doing what's natural to them and then they're going to come back and they're going to be making they're coming back to the hive and they're going to be making beautiful honey. And so there's a richness and a sweetness to this give and take to this offering and reception. Two hands that are clasped together. They are one. They're in unison. They are balanced. There's differences, but they are working together in harmony. And that's the most important thing. They both really want to work together in harmony. Perhaps they have not been uh, seeing eye to eye with one another lately or recently, but there is a sense of coming together in one that's on wholeness at this time for balance. She has these beautiful hearts in the center of her chest and it's, it's, a, it's a flower. So we have the roots that are actually spreading out and beyond her heart. So she knows that she has this beautiful gift within her and she knows that it's taking root in her heart as something very precious. And she also knows that there is a it is a gift and she will be giving to the world in some way uh, from this deep seated and deeply rooted affection, love. There's gratitude here. This tree is ancient. This tree is magnificent. Its branches reach high up into the sky, but its roots go down even further. There's a sense of security, of it being incredibly solid. It has weathered many storms and it has not gone anywhere. It's lost a few leaves and branches in the trials and tribulations of life, but it has grown back stronger. The wind has not pushed it over, even when it was younger, even when it was more flexible in its trunk. It was bending, but it did not break. In fact, the resistance against the wind created a strength in this tree that has made it now endure for the long term. A beautiful family that is standing on the seashore, there's a sense of love and openness and communication. Looking at how natural the relationships flow right now and enjoying every moment that they can with one another. 
This child is having a blast. They're smiling, they're having fun, they have been picking dandelions, they are going to make a wish, and they have a beautiful innocence and expectation that it is going to come true. It's autumn time and the leaves are falling. Everything is going into quiet mode. There's dormancy that's happening and it's a natural season. It's a cycle of things. And the trees, the plants, the animals are getting ready for the winter season. So there's not going to be much heat or life in the land that can be seen anyway. But that's okay because they understand and know that it's just a season and that spring will soon return, there'll be new growth and then there will be the height of summer. This person is writing in their journal. They have a lot on their mind and they're contemplating things. They're about to make a decision and they're putting, they're wanting to put their thoughts down on paper because it gives them clarity, it gets them out of their head and their emotions and really clarifies things. They're also in a very peaceful setting and so this really helps the tranquility to get out of a situation that is not so tranquil. So they've made that choice and taken that action to be sitting in a beautiful place while they're doing this. He is looking above. He's looking upwards. He's not focused so much on the past or even in the present. He's looking above and beyond you can see with his eyes, they are above and beyond the current situation. So he can definitely see what is uh, the bigger picture of things. This is a beautiful image. So this girl is actually, there's a sense of fantasy with this image. There's flowers all around. And the dog actually has, which was her pet, her beloved dog, actually has his angel wings. So he's passed over and the girl is in her imagination and still able to connect with her beloved pet talking to him, uh, connecting to him on, a, on that heart level. There are two friends. They are arm in arm. They have the same vision. They have the same outlook on life. They are able to communicate anything with this other person. We have all of these beautiful birds around them. So there's chattiness, openness with what they're saying. There's a beautiful sun or moon behind them. And so there's a sense of fullness and light radiating through this connection. Perhaps there has been a reconciliation and they're hand in hand once again. So it's nighttime and the bats are out and uh, this girl is not afraid of them at all. Even though to some, these bats are scary. They are not creatures that you want to come across, but to her, they are beautiful and majestic and wonderful. There's a curiosity that she has toward them, which makes her fearless.
There's a beautiful love connection here. These two peaceful doves with a love heart right in the middle. This boy with these two donkeys or horses holding them and they are all connected. So we have connectedness in love through the heart. Beautiful. It's been wonderful to go on this journey with you today. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.